Any visitor to Thailand in the month of April can't miss the water-throwing fun of Songkran, Thailand's New Year Water Festival. Bangkok's celebration of Songkran opened on Rajadamnan Road and proceeded via parade to the Grand Palace. The word Songkran is derived from the ancient Sanskrit language, meaning to pass or to move, and corresponds to the solar calendar when the sun moves past the 12 zodiacs. It's a time to celebrate the upcoming wet season, and the custom allows the gentle pouring of water onto your family and friends. Of course, these days, the water is thrown, sprayed, and tossed with abandon. Even Thailand's movie stars got into the act, daring the public to make a splash in their direction. Then the different provinces of Thailand joined the parade. This was a chance to see the costumes and traditions of the country's many regions. Lampang, you can run the gauntlet of water tossing in a horse and carriage. You still get very wet, but in the steamy April heat, no one seems to mind. You can explore the old homes in this district. young and old were competing to build the best sand castle, many replicas of well-known Thai temples. journey through the back streets and you'll see local families celebrating a traditional songkran. The elders tie Sai Sin threads around the wrists of the young to wish for good luck. Lampang seems sedate compared to the streets of Chiang Mai, where thousands of locals and foreigners alike celebrate Songkran with great enthusiasm. You'll stay soaking wet for several days here. The parades are huge and colourful, and villagers travel for hundreds of kilometres to participate. You can pour water on a Buddha image to make merit and then go and soak your friends for fun. In the hottest month here in Thailand, Songkran is perhaps the best way to cool down and a great way to revisit your childhood.